I'm working within Pure Data Vanilla and I have a new unsaved patch open. I'll start by creating a new oscillator object in PD and I'll give it the argument of 440. Then I'll connect it to an audio multiplication object that will scale its amplitude down considerably. Next, I'll connect that object to a blank audio multiplication object. Finally, I'll connect the blank audio multiplication object to both inlets of the DAC. To receive data from my Android app, I'll create a receive object called onOff and connect it to the rightmost inlet of the blank audio multiplication object. For testing purposes in pure data, I'll create the corresponding send object with a toggle. This will let me simulate a 1 or 0 being sent via the onOff message. I'll go ahead and test my patch by turning on the DSP, locking the patch, and then clicking the toggle. As expected, it works. Now I'll save my patch within my project folder on the desktop. For a file name, I'll name it simple patch, all lowercase. In order to bring my patch into Android Studio, I'm going to need to compress it into a zip file. So within the finder, I'll right click the patch and choose to compress it. Once the new zip file is created, I'll rename it simplepatch.zip. With my pure data patch created, saved, and compressed, the next thing I need to do is import it into Android Studio. To import my pure data patch into my Android Studio project, I'll work within the project view within the project pane. Here, I'm looking for the res or resources folder under app, src or source, main. With the resources folder selected, I'll right click it and select new Android resource directory. In the next window, I'll choose raw from the resource type dropdown. I'll leave the directory name as is and choose OK. This creates a new folder within my project on my system. Now I'll right click the newly created folder and choose to reveal it in the finder. I'll then open the folder. Now I'll copy and paste my compressed pure data file into this folder. When I head back to Android Studio, I see that the raw folder is updated and it shows its contents, simplepatch.zip. As a precaution, I'll choose to clean my project and force a rebuild from scratch. This is so that I can make sure the newly added file makes it into my application package. Once it's done building, I'll choose to build and run just to make sure there aren't any errors. My app builds, runs, and shows no signs of errors. It's now time to write the code that will load my pure data patch into my application.